Welcome back to Simulacra 2. Our overall goals are pretty much speak to uh, Maya's three, uh, they're not really friends, colleagues, we'll call them, and then just check around the phone pretty much. I think I want to talk to the colleagues probably after checking out the phone as much as I can because I want to know more about them so I can actually have a better interview, you know, I want to be informed before the interview. So yeah, let's book around. We just got access to a ton of apps. Oh, this is something we need to reconstruct. Require details of the crime scene and Maya's death. Well, don't have that yet. At least I don't think. What clues do we have? I guess, I mean, that would be it, right? Or is it something else? Oh, yeah. That's it. Maya's self-preparation. A video of Maya saying she's setting up a webcam to record an impending incident. Uh has to be a way to fix this, right? We're gonna have to destroy this thing we have to. We don't have a choice. I think I have it figured out. And we just need to get everybody here. And we can get rid of this thing together. It has to work. It absolutely has to work. If you're watching this, and if we don't make it out alive, if we mess up and I don't make it out alive, please watch the webcam footage. You'll see everything that you need to see. Another lead. Did she say webcam video? I knew you're the right hack for the job. We should team up more. Don't get too cozy yet. She recorded this just hours before she died. Looks like she predicted her own death. She was planning to gather everyone. Her friends. And what was she trying to end? What the heck was she up against? To leave those marks on her face? I shudder to think. This webcam footage is our best lead yet. It might reveal what she was talking about. But if it's on her laptop... <sighs> I can't risk breaking into the evidence room again. Don't you kids link everything in the clouds these days? Look through her phone. There must be another way to access her laptop. Oops, nope. Um, let's check out the mail. So I opened this just to figure out well, activate camera? Excuse me? Sorry, that wasn't for you. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if that's supposed to be funny or suspicious. Setting up the damn... Camera. You got a fisheye lens on your phone. Dear God, why? Looks horrifying. <laughs> Good 
job. Need help with your camera? Shut up and get back to work. Would love to if you'd stop annoying me with new messages. Right. So I opened this, but I didn't actually read it. I was just trying to get um, Maya Crane's last name. So oldest email is going to be at the bottom. Original message. Um, Ari. Ari Galadriel sent namaste and greetings to you, Maya. I'm pleased to invite you to be a guest mentor at this year's Be Well, Be Strong Summit, the only global annual event that offers a sanctuary for radical health thought leaders and paradigm shifters. Should you choose to accept, you'll be paired with Coco Poof, a sonic artist who combines whale songs and techno bass beats to cleanse minds and bodies of urban toxicity and revitalize colonic balance. To truly capture Coco Poof's power of giving life to the body's energy centers, I believe that you will be the perfect yogic guide to assist our audience on their pilgrimage to better well-being. I hope you reply within this fruitful cosmic period when Jupiter is aligned with Mars and the moon is in full house. May the universe's joy be with you. Dear God. Oh my God, the cats are running in the background. Sorry if there's any weird noises. They are having fun. Dear Ari, oh my God, thank you so much for this opportunity. This is such an honor. It is a yes, yes, yes for me. Best wishes and peace be upon you, Maya Crane. Oh, their handle on, I don't know, the equivalent of Twitter, I guess, is Maya Eats Clean. At Maya Eats Clean. So this is on the same day. Oh, just a couple minutes after they replied. I'm afraid we have to retract our invitation to connect with you. It appears that your trust quotient among our audience has shrunk, and we cannot permit any possible polluting influences at our event. It's bad for the vibes, you know. Let us know when you reach a higher tier on Chimera, should Virgo be in your favor. May the universe's joy be with you. Chrissy, your treatment ruined my face. Sent 17th of October. Uh, dear Maya, my name is Chrissy. I'm your biggest fan, and I found your email after looking through the guest list at the Jabber Press Dinner. I just want to say you were my biggest inspiration because you're so fit and pretty and awesome. I tried your walnut lemon juice face cleanse treatment and your kale cabbage soup detox, and it was great. But then my face started peeling into different colors, and then I had to go to the doctor because I kept puking, and they said that the kale cabbage diet is fake. They said your diets are dangerous, and you should stop. I'm writing you because I'm a fan, and I think you should know and maybe fix your advice because my face is really bad now, and it itches all the time, so no one else should go through this. You ruined my life. I hope you kill yourself. <laughs> Love, Chrissy. <laughs> uh, hmm. That went back and forth between different tones. I love you. Please kill yourself. With love, Chrissy. Alright, yeah. 17th of September. Wait, am I going in this in the, the wrong order? September. August. Yeah, okay, sorry. Oldest one's at the top. Uh, 24. I think the oldest one's at the top. Uh, the 25th of September. It's a support ticket at Jabber regarding a complaint. Uh, dear Jabber support, I'd like to report multiple violation of Jabber's anti-harassment rules. My friend Rex is getting horribly trolled by an account called Got Rexed. They're slandering his name and making all sorts of accusations. I hope you'll deal with this ASAP. Thank you for your complaint regarding harassment of the account at Max2Rex. We take such complaints very seriously. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, we suggest your friend adopts more resilience to deal with them, given that trolls are part of social media. Oh, helpful. Thanks. And then I think they uh, 
forwarded it to Rex. These guys are unbelievable. I'm so angry. And then Rex replies, it's all right. Thanks for sticking up for me, though. That's more than I've expected from anyone. You're good people, yo. <laughs> and don't worry about me. No hater is going to shut this awesome machine, all right? I fucking hate Rex. Dipshit. Maya, Rex's supporter. Maya is one of the very few people that Rex sees as a friend. Dear God, Maya, why would you want to be friends with Rex? Chimericon. Dear Maya Crane, it was a pleasure to have you at our last Chimericon convention. Your role as the moderator in our Health Hacks on Chimera IRL panel was integral for its success. The expertise and professionalism you presented made it a delightful experience for everyone involved. The meet and greet booth that you hosted was also a hit. According to our tracking software, it had the most foot traffic compared to other micro-influencers on the same floor. With that said, we would like to invite you to our upcoming Chimericon event. This year we're offering you a bigger booth to meet your fans. We're also eager to have you as a speaker on the health panel, should you choose to attend. Please let us know your response by October 30th, 2019. Due to her performance as a panel moderator the previous year, Maya received an invitation to this year's Chimericon. Um, the original message was from Mind Body Gym alerts at Mind Body Fitness. Um, you're receiving this email because you've signed up for notifications for the Thursday Fly Cycle class. We're pleased to inform you that a placement for the session has just opened up and it's available for you. To secure your spot, uh, to secure your spot, reply to this email with confirm. Confer, misspelled. Conquer. That's not right. Confirm. There you go. Your spot has been confirmed. And Anand, your master for the class, has been notified. Okay. Always worth paying attention to names. They went to this place. Their teacher was Anand. Arya Park. From Aria Park to Maya Crane, Jabber Quota. I've been thinking about what you said, and I'm going ahead with asking for likes from my fans. I know it's not the most popular thing to do, but you know how things are with my family. And I'm desperate, and I'm never asking them for help. Whatever comes at my way, I'm going to fight it. Comes at my way? That's a weird way to say that. Um, I refuse to let what people say affect my decisions. These are my fans, and I trust them. By the way, I'm not asking for permission, and I've already done it. Arya is willing to fight for what she thinks she deserves, in this case, not asking for help from her family, even though she needs it. And then we're back to this. I get creeped out every time I look at that face. Not because they have a creepy face, but just... I don't know, I guess that is kind of a creepy face they're making in that picture, but it's just like, I keep expecting it to blink or something. Chats. Jason blocked... Oh, might be able to see why they were blocked. Um, 29th of August. Hi there, Maya. Uh, Jason here. Not sure if you remember me, but we did that holy holistic spa shoot together. Just dropping a line to say hi. And then Maya replies, oh, hi. Jason says, how's it going? Looks like you're rising up the Camara ranks, huh? I always knew you had it. You were like one of the few people on that genuinely believed in her work. Maya, I'm good. And thanks. Jason. Okay. Did I, like, piss you off or something? I know I'm not a big name in the fitness scene or anything, but 
I'm just trying to network to change that, you know? And I thought you were one of the friendlier ones. Maya. Oh my god, I'm sorry, Jason. It's just... I've been getting so many strange messages from people now. Jason. Strange? Maya. Strange strangers. Like, these people think that just because they follow me, they're like my best friend or something. Jason. Yeah, I get it. You know, I once had this girl who kept pestering me, and she was just cluttering my posts with these gross, cutesy things and sending things to my house. No idea how she got my address. When I told her to stop, she sent me a long letter in red ink. Except I realized it wasn't ink at all. Maya? Blood? Jason? Well, at least the cops have her DNA on file now. Maya. <laughs> oh my god, how do you stay so cool with things like this? Jason. Gotta just take it as it comes. Part of the job, right? We can exchange more stories over coffee sometime. Maya. <laughs> Not sure if I want to relive all this IRL. Jason. Sure, this won't change your mind? Deleted. Was that a fucking dick pic or something? Maya. I really did not want to see your... that. If you're looking to hook up, I'm not that kind of girl. Yeah, men just be like that. Men are just creeps. Don't pretend to be your thirst trap. All that tight yoga gear you keep showing off in front of thousands of people. Well, at least I'm straightforward about it. How can you say no to a package of that size, huh? You mean literal exercise clothes. Also, go to hell. Harry, body combat. 12th of July. Hey, Harry. I won't be able to make it to our session on uh, session this Monday. I accidentally double booked. A friend needs to see me and it's urgent, so I need to reschedule. I have someone who needs to see you urgently this Monday, too. Super important. Maya, who is it? Harry. Me! <laughs> Maya, <laughs> thanks. Harry, sorry, my friend had my phone and he typed that. He's so weird. <laughs> I don't know why he did that. No need to reschedule. We'll work harder next session. Cool? Maya, yeah, that works. We'll work harder on your pickup lines, too. Harry, ouch. One hour later. Is what my friend would have said if he still had my phone. Two hours later. I'll tell him. Four hours later. Okay, I'll stop talking. Now. Yep, that's just how men be. Ha ha ha. My friend got my phone. Sorry, didn't mean to send you that inappropriate thing. This person's blocked. Oh, this is going to be a good one. Uh, whoever they are, doesn't have a name. Is this Maya Crane? Maya says yes, and then they sent this. Just because you're famous doesn't mean you're not another stupid, dumb slut. Who the hell do you think you are giving other people fitness advice when you are discussing land will yourself? Just shut up, or I'm going to come over to your house, cut your tongue out, and make you choke on it. Slowly and painfully. Um, question, what were those wet noises at the end? What the fuck is that? Twenty sixth of July. Good morning, Maya. Hope you have a great week ahead. Maya, hi and thanks. Uh, sorry if I'm being rude, but I don't seem to have your number saved on my phone. Who's this? And the person replies, "Oh, I just keyed in your number randomly." Maya, what? Wait, how do you know my name? The person. 
stares shyly at the ground. Okay, I lied. I'm just a huge fan and you're such an inspiration to me. I've seen every single thing you've posted. Every post. So, um, uh, hi? Maya, where did you get my number from? They reply. Ponders over whether to snitch. Maya, I'm ending this convo now. And they reply, Rex. It was Rex, okay? I paid for one of his classes, because I knew he knows you. Adjusts collar and blushes nervously. I just feel like I really know you. You're so beautiful. I think we're soulmates. Maya, okay, look, I'm flattered, but I'm not interested. They reply, aw. Okay, if you really feel that way, slinks off quietly. Maya, can you please stop it with the creepy asterisks? They reply, pauses. No. Straights up his back and speaks louder. No, I'm one of the best guys you'll ever meet. I know how to treat you right like the princess that you are. No other man will do anything for you like I would. Grabs your hand and places it on his chest. Just accept my wild beating heart, my love. Maya, this is insane. You know nothing about me. I'm saying bye now. And then, you know, just blah, blah, blah. You're a whore. Oh, they sent an audio message. I hope you're happy ripping out my freaking heart, you, you, you heartless witch. You're going to be sorry when I kill myself. And then, and then we'll see how many people will think you're such a great star, huh? Can I say anything, by the way, in the chats? I want to make sure I don't miss that. Not to, not to the blocked ones, I'm sure, but Harry's not blocked. God knows why. Chrissy. Oh, wait, Chrissy, that's the one who sent the message about the treatment ruining their face, right? And in this case, Chrissy blocked Maya. Uh, 1st of August, hold on. Hmm... 1st of August. This was the 17th of October. So this was before everything went wrong. Hi Maya, this is Chrissy here. Remember me? We met at the Jabra Networking Night. Just getting in touch because I'm such a fan. I would love to collaborate one day or just be like, you know, friends. <laughs> <laughs> Maya Hey Chrissy I'm sorry if I spelt that wrong That was some night I don't really remember talking to you But I'm always up for a collab with a fellow creator uh, What's your Chimera account again? And Chrissy replies Actually I don't really post anything on my account Maya Oh just starting out? That's okay you have to start with one post and keep at it. Chrissy. Actually, I contact you because you didn't reply to my email. I thought it was really rude, like you can't even reply to your fans. Maya. Oh. I'm sorry? Chrissy. Sorry doesn't cut it anymore. I followed all your advice and your stupid tips and everything and you can't even be bothered to talk to me. You should go kill yourself, you stupid, stupid head. Oh, what a brutal insult. I'm going to block you now because you're not good for my mental health. Maya, what the heck? Okay, and then we get the colleagues. Aria. Oh, we have a bunch of unrecovered chat history. It starts off the 26th of July. Maya says, Oh my god, one non-vegan burger and everyone's losing their minds. I was hungry. There was nothing else to eat. Am I supposed to starve? What the hell? Aria replies, Hey girl, just saw your text. Look, trolls are gonna troll. So don't let it get to you. All these people, they're just jealous of us because they wish their lives were as fab as ours, okay? So you really just have to stop worrying about what others think of you. Maya? Ugh, you're right, you're right. It's just so annoying. So annoying. 10th of August from Arya. 
Hi, I know you've been real busy, but I need someone to talk to. I've been working my ass off, but my numbers are still dropping like crazy. Some shiny new airhead comes along and everyone just leaves me for them. I don't know how I'm gonna make rent if this goes on like this. Anyway, call me when you can, okay? Maya? Oh no, is it really that bad? Arya? Yeah, it's complete bullshit. You would not believe what this marketing guy told me the other day. Our audience can't relate to someone as old as you. I'm 26? What the fuck? Maya, maybe you should just talk to your parents? I'm sure they'll help you out if they knew. Arya, <laughs> you must be joking. I think they'd formally disown me at this point if they can be bothered to sign the papers. Maya, hey, if it helps, you know I believe in you, right? You've always been a fighter, Arya. I wish I was half as brave as you are. Arya, <laughs> sure, brave. But thanks. Join me for a gallon of wine and bad, dirty dancing? Maya, <laughs> sure, bestie. Arya, and you can tell me all about your weird spark date. Taylor, was it? He sounds like a creep. Maya, yeah, he kept trying to get me to go to some rooftop somewhere. But I got something important to discuss, too. Might fix our problems for good. 2nd of October. We're getting close. Arya, Maya, we need to talk. I thought we agreed that I was going to do the, the yoga retreat post first. Maya, oh, sorry. The moment just felt right, so I went with it. Arya has some animosity towards Maya, even telling Maya to just disappear. Arya, oh my god, Maya, why do you keep undermining me like this? Even with the group, it's like nothing I say matters anymore. Sometimes I wish that you'd just detox yourself out of existence. Maya, where's all this coming from? Arya, forget it. What was I thinking? Working with someone who thinks they can feed off crystal energy. Maya, that was a really low blow. Arya. You know what's low? Your friggin' self-centered bullshit. This group is your way of trying to control people and pretend you're some kind of messiah or something. Maya. Me? If anyone is selfish and manipulative, it's you. It's been that way since college. You think I don't know what you say about me behind my back? Like when you told Lee that I had herpes because you couldn't stand it that he asked me out instead of you? Arya. Oh my god, let it go already. So much for love and light when you're keeping grudges from eons ago. Maya. I'm just gonna let you cool off, okay? Arya. Do whatever the hell you want. I'm better off keeping this arrangement purely professional. 11th of October from Arya. Hey, Maya! Are you okay? I haven't heard from you in a while. You haven't ditched me now that you're all famous, right? <laughs> Okay, but seriously, I have been a bit worried about you. Just want to let you know that you can give me a shout if you need a chat, okay? That's a weird thing to say after leaving the conversation at this, back in the 2nd of October, so just about a week later. Maya, hey. Yes, I'm fine, I think. Maybe we can have another girls' night out soon? I need to get out of my house. Things have been really weird. Arya. Sure. Let me know, okay? Ah, right. I can use this to talk to Arya. So actually, let's not do that yet. Let's keep gathering information. Rex. 8th of August, 2019. Maya. Hey, Rex. Just checking in. You think we can get into the Jabber thing? Rex replies. Yo. Yeah, yeah. I can get you into that networking dinner. Those guys owe me. As a plus, I'll even explain all the complicated marketing terms to you. Because I'm a swell guy. But make it obvious you're not my date. Don't cockblock me, alright? Maya replies. Gross major eye roll, Mr. Casanova. I really doubt girls are falling at your feet when you look older than my dad, okay? And trust me, that weird car you have is not helping. 
Rex replies. Now's not a good time, all right? I'm trying to get these douches to explain why I showed up to an almost empty hall. My talks used to be a full house kind of deal, so what the hell is this bullshit? I even paid for ads this time. I know I had eyeballs on those, so why isn't it translating into numbers? Maya. Oh, sorry. Okay, remember my idea? I really think it's going to solve all of that for you. Trust me on this, just give me a call later. Yeah, yeah, fine. This better be good. 16th of August. Uh, Rex, man, can't believe I joined some girl group. Maya. Ah, oh, don't be a spoil sport. Rex, I'm only doing this because of you, all right? And uh, thanks for sticking up for me with that nutso group. Maya, that's what friends do. Rex, yeah, well, my last so-called friend almost got me locked away for life. That mofo bastard. Maya, we'll never do that to you, Rex. Pinky promise. You know I'll look out for you. Rex replies. Yeah, fine. I'll admit it. It's pretty sweet to have a team that's got my back, all right? Don't get too excited. I'm a lone alpha wolf. I can handle flying solo just fine. But I guess what I'm trying to say is uh, it's, you know, nice. Not everyone's out to screw you over. Rex, anytime, friend. I'm really curious about this part. My last so-called friend almost got me locked away for life. What happened? 3rd of October, Rex. Yo, so I looked up your noise issue. I think your old ass gear just uh, is just picking up all sorts of interference. Or, you know, it could be aliens. Maya replies. So, you think it's just interference on my speakers? Are those, like, radio waves? Okay, that kind of makes sense. It's just kind of scary to hear voices from nowhere. And, no, is definitely not my meditation chance. <sighs> Guess I'll try cutting out my sleep music then. So they are hearing voices all the way f as far back as the 3rd of October. Rex, also, you followed up on that client deal yet? Maya, oh, right, sorry. A lot of crazy stuff has been happening. Rex, hey, get your head in the game, all right? This isn't some happy, clappy friendship pact. We're running a business here. Maya, point taken. You can stop nagging now. Rex, man, don't give me that. Are you trying to kill the group off? Maya, Oh my god, are you still mad over that ad I did for Patrick? Rex. Since you brought it up, yes. You can't do my promo vid, but totally jumped on that loser's crap thing? Maya. I told you, it just sort of happened. I already apologized. Rex. You best remember, I don't need any of you, alright? I can drop you tomorrow and be just A-OK. -okay. Maya. Wow. Go ahead, then. Rex. The second I get something better, you bet your ass I will. Rex vents his frustration at working with Maya and says he has no issues moving on from the group. 13th of October, Rex says, Dude, you on some dumbass retreat? Just hit me up soon, alright? 15th of October, Rex says, Maya, are you just going to keep ignoring me? Just be straight up. You don't have to hide from me. I'm not going to bite. If you can't handle the pressure or this thing's really not working out, let's just hash it out like adults. 